In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Keyword Planner to get free keyword ideas directly from Google. In order to get started, just go into Google and search for Google Keyword Planner. You open up the first page here, which will take you to something like this. Basically, this is not a free SEO keyword research tool. Google is not like you can use this tool to do SEO keyword research uh, and it does not work like that. What this tool is or what this tool is supposed to be is a part of a tool set which they are giving for Google ads. So in Google's mind, this tool is used by people who are looking to find keyword ideas to target those keyword ideas through Google Ads. So with through that, they are offering this tool as a free resources for the end users. What we can do is if you are only looking for keyword ideas, we start with the campaign and during that campaign, we can find keyword ideas which we can use it to either go and create a Google keyword, uh, uh, I mean Google Ads campaign or choose those keywords to for whatever the purposes you need from SEO to just to identify your topic market. This is nothing illegal. Everything is legal. You can use it via Google uh, search console. I mean, Google ads uh, through that. So within here, you will get uh, what are the features available within this particular tool from finding new keywords, suggested keyword will be shown research, including how many searches, how many year on year searches, monthly searches, all that will be shown estimates. We also will get PPC or Google ad cost uh, estimates and also we can make a plan based on the competition. I'll talk about these all this when I start using it. So here you can see I have a personal account here. You can see this is the home page which will be you will be seeing from once you come into the keyword planner section of it. Here you get two, two options. You discover new keywords or get search volume and forecast. First, let us take a look into the first one. Basically, once I come into the discover new keywords also, I get two options. One, I can start with new keywords or I can start with a website. What are the two differences here? One, if I am already know my primary keyword, I can go with this particular one. Or I know my priority keyword, but I want to see what my competitor is doing. I know a particular website. I want to see what that website or that web page is targeting. Then I will start with the website. So basically both of them are doing the same thing, but each of these method is talk, uh, taking a different point in as a starting point. So with the starting a new keyword, you just enter whichever the keyword you want to go after. So for example, so let us say I type in lawyer here. I can enter multiple keywords also I want like I misspell it. So you can do all these things. So it, it will understand. So I can enter multiple keywords. Then you can select the target language you are on. More for most it will be English, but you can also select depending on the keyword you are going after. Then you can select whatever the country or region you want to see the data. In this case, I can either set it as India as a whole country or I can create a brand, select a brand new country here, something like Sri Lanka. I can select that or I can select a city here. For example, I'm a, my client is a lawyer in Chennai. So I put Chennai here. Then automatically only that particular location will be selected. So any data I see also from that particular location. Now when I click on get result, it will go out and give me suggestion. You can see it found around 669 keyword ideas for this particular keyword. So this is a very good starting point. Here, what are the re uh, results I'm seeing? First, we have a table format here. In this, it shows the location I'm on, language I'm on, do I am only seeing Google or Google and search partner? Basically, it is going one step beyond and showing me all the demand when I select this. And I also have the option to see all available data or last 12, 24 months, last 12 or last month. You select up to this. This is where I with just a one click, I can download this entire table into a CSV. Let me show you like I can either download as a CSV or export into Google Sheet. Depending on the number of keywords here, it might take from 5 to 20 seconds. 
Once downloaded, you can simply open up and you can see all the data here. So that is how you can download it. Now, if I go one step below here, I have the option to call something like broaden your search. What here it's doing is Google itself, this particular keyword planner tool itself suggesting me, okay, you are searching about this. Why don't you add this particular term also? Because when you add this particular term, uh, term, if it's related to your industry, I can find more keywords. So that is what essentially it is doing here. So you can see maybe personal injury law is uh, related to me. So I click on that. It is added here. Now, when I click on get result, please notice this 669. Now, when I click on get results, it is going to be finding more keywords for me. Again, I can say maybe criminal or legal professional. Maybe it suits me. When I get results, it is going to be adding here. So keep on when you add more keywords there, it will keep on adding, uh, giving you a lot more keywords. This is some suggestions provided within this particular tool itself, which is very useful to be honest. From here, you can filter adult idea or 18 plus keywords. If you want to be safe, you can do all these things. You also have the option to refine the keywords as you want. You can all these are just based on your need. You can go after and do it. Or you can see the columns like you can have the control for example i can modify the columns like i don't want to see any columns i close it all the columns i can see like add any columns like i want to see the organic average position all the things for example organic impressions so average position maybe i select that and that will come into this play so all the things you need you can start and bring into this particular table now let us come into the table itself. What are the details we are seeing here? One first keyword we are seeing it here. It shows the keyword and text, all those options here and uh, average monthly search. So for this particular term, it is getting anywhere from 1000 to 10,000 people are searching every single month from Chennai. So that is what it is giving me here. When it says K, it means under, uh, I mean thousand. So when it say 1K, it is 1000. You sometimes when you see 100K, it means 100,000. So you usually Google Keyword Planner won't give a exact search amount. It is always a range. Three months change shows like for this particular search demand in three months, how many times or how big the change has been. Competition is what sh is showing me is that what is the competition is like one major important point. This is not SEO competition. These are adverts or Google ads competition. What that means is it says for Google, uh, for this particular keyword, there are very low number of people who are willing to advertise. So it shows that if you are a person uh, who is looking to have ad advertise for this position you can get a very reasonable uh, ad amount to spend it or you might even use it to calculate some potentially high value keyword so diverse attorneys near me it is high value keyword medium others are apart from that most of them are low but if i change this particular uh, location to something like new york let's say you will see how much big that change makes it for example chennai that competition might be low but when i switch to a different big country you can see now i'm getting medium 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 all these things will be different so depending on the i value keywords you can see i i value keywords everything so this is how we calculate so the competition is for number of competitors we are able to see so that is what this section does year on year from one year to next year how much change has been done so that is showing me here these are basically for the ad which is the lowest amount how highest as the ad value for single click has gone now so those details we are able to see here. You also have the option to select whichever the keyword which interest you and just click on copy this to take that uh, data to clipboard or anything like that. You also have the page control below where you can start going and go into other pages and sections all the data is here. Now let me show you how what you can get from search volume and forecast. Here what the goal is like you start with uh, like you have a list of keywords here you want to get how much searches or data for those keywords here you just print 
paste or type those keywords in one line or separated by comma so something like so the list can go out you can also key, uh, upload a file here then once you search for it it will search for whatever the selected target location it will give you all the data this is useful if you already have a list of keyword this might be useful maybe you use something like uh, ai uh, like chat gpt cloud gemini to bring up list of keyword and you want to see the search ranges for those then you can use this particular tool uh, there is also one more feature here which is start with the website what here what it does doing is Rather than me giving out a website uh, keyword to them, I know this is my key competitor's website or this is a website which interests me or suited to my niche. I want to find what are the keywords in it. So this might work really good for some useful cases. So what I can do is here, in here I also select my target location. I have two options here, either I can use my entire site or only this page. Where well, this will be useful is like if the old site is related to your niche, the old website targets keywords which are related to your product or services which suits you, then you select the entire website. Or if you only are interested in a particular web page which you are giving here, you only want to focus what are the keywords this particular key web page is uh, trying to rank for or bringing traffic in then you select only this page in this case i'm going to select entire site and select get results when i do that it is going to be bringing all the keyword ideas which this particular domain is getting from uh, google so you can see it almost found from my one single keyword it found over 1587 free keyword ideas from google so that is how very well this tool can do and it's essentially free to be used because you don't need to use campaigns and everything you can use this as a research tools to find keywords from directly from google and just start using it i hope this video helps you if you have any doubts do let me know and i will be creating more videos like this